okay so um let's remove this locator now so we no more hard code this in our test files you know that home page object have ability to pull all your methods so home page let me save the project dot look at here get edit box so in that edit box and then type perfect look at this how neatly it's organized now in the home page in the edit box we were typing the name see that's what um intelligence and readability you need to bring to your test your code should be hidden from your actual test case like this so if someone wants to read they can clearly understand that in there is a home page and the edit box and the cypress is typing the name okay and this is what i said converting your test into framework standard by bringing all these features a home page dot get gender and then select the gender nice so this one is on two way data binding i guess this dot get two way data binding and again this also part of get edit box so i will simply replace it home page dot what do we have it's related to get entrepreneur should be disabled and finally you need to select get shop tab and you select it perfect so we have successfully converted and removed all our page objects from your actual test into separate class of home page okay so save this project and just make sure nothing is breaking and everything is running properly as expected okay so what happened cannot read property should of undefined i don't think that is specific to this test let me check so just check if there are written statements for every method yeah it's missing here i think that's the reason it's throwing an error so if you don't add written statement basically when you call this method this object will not be written to this place so that cypress got confused on upon what to act okay so you save this project and look at here test automatically started and it just works like how it worked earlier so do remember to add that written statement for each and every method okay so there is no change in our test execution it looks cool just like how we have did earlier with page objects hard coding in the test so similarly now for second page it's up to you that i'm giving you the assignment to handle the second page okay so i can create template and leave for you just like home page home page dot js create one more file maybe you can give that name as products page and you need to add your own methods here which belongs to that product page not from the home page okay so close your braces so the syntax is ready and if you want to import it you can quickly come back to your test and just the same step this time instead of home page we need to use product um make sure you give the same file name with class name so that it would be consistent everywhere so product page
product page when you do slash now we will see product page here and then you can simply create object for the new I will just do for one object and will leave rest for you as an assignment so that you can extend and enhance that existing product page class perfect so what I can change here actually um, everything here is centralized as part of your command which is we are lagging from commands.js so this is a customized command so that's the reason I could not see any object defined here but don't worry we will click on this checkout button now to go to the next page from your products and then you will obviously need to declare this object in your product page class okay so this belongs to this page right and now after you select items in the cart till this point we did execution but we did not move to the next step by clicking on the checkout so now we will do that and we will declare this object in that particular page okay so if you are already on the cypress then you can take advantage of that to spy an element so css is too long it's up to you if you want to use it but now our focus is not on deriving css so you can just use whatever you cypress gives you but you know the different ways of generating it right you can actually do customized CSS or you can use contains keyword as well. So if you want to use contains keyword, you need to pass the text of checkout. Maybe you can say cy dot contains of checkout dot click. Even that works. Okay. So now you clicked on checkout button, but this checkout button should come from your product page so yeah checkout make sure you return it See by sorry. What is our object? Product page. Product page dot checkout button dot click. Nice. Okay. Save your project. And now next is to validate whether these two products are displaying on this page. You need to basically sum up this 50,000 and 65,000 and you need to get this value and compare whether sum of these two totals is equal to the actual total. That is your test case. But I will keep this in parking lot. We will do that in our next lecture. But before that, let's actually click on this checkout button and reach this page and enter any country name here. Like if you want to choose delivery location of your home country, enter this so that you will get pop-up as an option. And you need to select that pop-up option. Give the checkbox saying that I agree to the terms and conditions and select purchase so that you will get this message that success your order will be delivered in next few weeks. So let's try to automate this scenario. Okay, and then I will go back and talk about how to sum up and compare with your actual total because that needs a good amount of discussion. But before that, let's do this end to end scenario and then come back and discuss on that particular total validation. But this is what about page objects. So going forward, I will again declare them here itself. So I just shown how to make this test page object optimized. Again, I don't want to waste time to create multiple pages again and to drive it from there. It's up to you that you take it forward because you understood, right? I explained the concept for first two pages. 
and implement same for other pages as well. I don't want to waste time again in driving it from page object in here. So let's focus on our remaining test scenarios and finish it off. Okay. We'll see that in our next lecture. Thank you.